So today we're going to talk about the Kubernetes operators that Percona offers. At present, we have two. The first is the Percona Kubernetes operator for ExtraDB cluster, which is our MySQL clustering solution. And the second is Percona Kubernetes operator for Percona server for MongoDB. And that is allowing you to set up a MongoDB replica set. The whole idea of Kubernetes is that it's a way that you can uh, set up some management and automation of various clustered environments. And this can help you set up the environments, this can help you scale the environments, recover from an outage, and, and manage all the different bits and pieces of the containers that are playing in this environment. So we're looking at a Kubernetes operator. And this operator is what is telling Kubernetes how it's going to function and how it's going to go about the idea of, in some cases, just building out a new environment, but in others, looking to add or remove different containers that are involved in your uh, clustered environment. One of the very nice things about the Kubernetes operator is that they are always going to give you the same result, no matter where or when or how they are deployed. So if you use the same operator in two different places, two different instances, you're going to end up with the same result. And that's important. In the example that you see over here on the left, we've got two pods that are running in a cluster and we need to add a third pod. The Kubernetes operator will identify that need, will create the third pod, and will then add it to the cluster and start the rebalancing of the data automatically. And the thing that's very important here is that that third pod is created so that it is identical to the other two pods. So you have, uh, basically you've removed the possibility of human error coming in and under configuring any one of your nodes in your pods. So Kubernetes is an orchestration platform and it's looking at ways that we can automate application development, application deployment, scaling, and the overall management. This started out as a Google project, but it's actually now managed and maintained by the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. And the whole idea is that we're looking at coming up with a way of automating a lot of the things that normally would have required human intervention. The idea here is twofold. One, through automation, we can do it more quickly. And two, through the automation, we can ensure that we are always doing it consistently and in the same manner. When you get people involved, you always have the possibility that someone's going to do something just a little bit differently, and that can impact the performance of your entire cluster. Just a, a little bit of background on this. Um, the word Kubernetes itself is uh, a Greek word, and it means helmsman or captain. So you can envision Kubernetes as the person who is driving the ship. And the interesting thing here is that this actually started out, as I mentioned, as a Google project. And the Google project was the Borg project. Um, if you think back to the Star Trek series where we had the Borg collective, um, we had a character in Star Trek called Seven of Nine. And in fact, this original project was called Project Seven of Nine. The whole idea was to create a friendlier version of the Borg. Now in the Borg collective, the whole idea was that no one uh, member of the collective is any more important than the other, and each one of them is expendable. And much the same philosophy kind of carries through in Kubernetes. When we're running Kubernetes, no one pod is any more important than any other, and at any point in time, a pod can be sacrificed and automatically recreated. The logo for Kubernetes, as you can see, is a ship's wheel, and it has seven spokes on it, so it's not something that anyone would ever create, but that is, is the reason for the, the seven spoke uh, ship's wheel there. And the first version of Kubernetes was released in July of 2015. The other thing is, is that you will often, often see this abbreviated as K8S, and that's because one, Kubernetes is long and somewhat difficult to say, and there are eight characters between the K and the S in Kubernetes. So it's just a little shorthand way of referring to it. As I mentioned, Percona has two different Kubernetes operators. The uh, Percona Kubernetes operator for ExtraDB cluster is the one that works with our MySQL clustering solution. And you can use this to deploy or to scale up or down a Percona ExtraDB cluster. And then the Percona Kubernetes operator for Percona server for MongoDB. And this one you can use to deploy a MongoDB replica set. So the Kubernetes operator, it's a way that we can package up, deploy, and manage a Kubernetes application. And this application is deployed on Kubernetes, and then using some API and tooling that Kubernetes provides, we can actually go through all the management of it. 
And the whole idea here is that this is helping us build out these cloud native applications and ensuring that we have consistent environments as we're going through and building all these applications. Very nice thing about the Percona Kubernetes operator. First of all, they're based on our best practices. So as you uh, use the Kubernetes operators, you're going to get environments that are built to uh, model against our best practices. With the ExtraDB cluster operator, you can use that to scale up your environment. You can do the automation of backup and restores. Um, you can do automated node recovery so that if a node is, is noticed to be in failure, Kubernetes will automatically remove that node, create a new node in its place, and go through the whole rebalancing. Um, through the Kubernetes operators, we can support data encryption, so we have all the security that we need. And of course, these also integrate with our Percona monitoring and management tool so that you can go and take a look and see what's going on with your uh, cluster environment. And then one last thing is that we are somewhat unique because we support the idea of private container registries. And this is a way of providing additional levels of security for people who may need that. So the Percona Kubernetes operators are available to you now. They work very well within the AWS infrastructure and you can start using them as of now. Thanks.